as he has fulfilled a boyhood dream since the age of 10. He's dreamt of becoming the heavyweight champion of the world. His dad's party piece, when David was a toddler, was allowing him to punch the hand of his pals, and they were marveled at the power he possessed at that tender age. Didn't see that power in evidence tonight. Damaged that right hand in the second round, but as the boys have pointed out, perhaps that was crucial in enforcing him to box a measured, disciplined fight and prevail by majority decision on points. Celebrations going on in the crowd. Let's hope that they don't get over exuberant. Flags being flown representing Wales, representing South London, Millwall, where David Hay is from. Still doing our best to get a word with Try David Hay. Who's just posing for the snappers now and relishing this moment. The culmination of a lifetime's ambition. The realization of a boyhood dream. Because David Hay is the WBA heavyweight champion of the world. And how well he boxed to secure the richest prize in sport. Let's make sure we get him now. And he climbs up onto the second rope, raises both his arms now to the cheers of the huge British contingent here and not a few of the Germans who've stayed behind as well, you have to say. And some of those are trying to press forward now, the British fans, and it's potentially getting a bit ugly, very close to ringside here as David Hay now moves to the neutral corner just to our left and celebrates with everybody and for everybody a great night for British boxing now he's over towards the far side of the ring and to Valuef's own corner Valuef meanwhile is just saying thank you to his fans I wonder where his career will go from here now because he was completely outfoxed and outboxed here this evening by David Hay the new champion of the world and Don King just hovering in the centre of the boxing ring Steve not quite sure which way he's going to go yeah that, that sunshine showdown you talked about he said he arrived with the champion and left with the champion will he do the same tonight yeah, listen he not, not only will he possibly do the same but he's already been on the phone to Humberto Mendoza in Caracas Venezuela organising the organising the rematch he fancies a rematch and why ever not next time next time it's not even close trust me and Ronald I'm sure that Don King will have a, a little conversation with David Day before the night's out <laughs> that you can guarantee but uh, just look just looking at all the celebrations all the Brits have come down they're trying to get to the ringside it's uh, all the Germans are obviously silent great scenes here jubilation scenes and David Day's going to every corner of the ring still with that belt in his arms fantastic stuff it really really is David Hay just breaking off a conversation with Richard Schaefer CEO of the influential Golden Boy promotional company and he feels David Hay is the man to reignite the heavyweight division and he is the man and I wonder will we see David Hay one day in Las Vegas a city built for people like David Hay that great character who's made this fight really in terms of the build up and generated so much of the interest against a man who was pretty much media shy and wasn't interested in answering the insults and the taunts and just as it was in the build up to the Vladimir Klitschko fight that didn't happen you couldn't help but know that this fight was on the horizon and it's all because of one man at times he can be the most articulate sportsman on the planet at other times he can be the most tasteless but it all works into building up the interest into anything he's involved in yeah and Mike you know every kid dreams who boxes to become uh, the champion in the world but to become heavyweight champion in the world a title that Muhammad Ali held Joe Frazier the WBA title the fighters that have held that title oh, it's just dream world it really is and also to win it with such an articulate you talk about him being an articulate talker that was an articulate display a, a beautiful display absolutely flawless display from the start until the end never once losing his composure never once panicking and never once I believe doubting for any second that he was going to win David Hay has left, has left the boxing ring and taking the dangerous route, the short route, to come and speak to us here on BBC Radio 5 Live. He's clambered over the tables. His water bottle is shedding water I'm everywhere. Here, I'm here, BBC. But he's here on Thank the BBC. Not. Thank you very much. Thank Be congratulated much. by former WBC champion Richard Woodall. David, allow Woo. me to add my congratulations as oh, well. Thank you very much. Culmination of a lifetime dream. What feelings, what thoughts, what emotions it's are going through right amazing. now? It's everything I've trained for since I was a little baby. I said I'd be the heavyweight champion of the world and here we are you know I'm the it feels, it feels about, I hurt my hand early in the fight but you know I, I kept I kept chugging through I kept fainting him and sort of dummying through it I kept threatening to throw the right hand but not throw it 
because I didn't, only in the last round when I knew there was one round left, I thought, okay, even though I know my hand's broken, let me just chuck it, and you saw it, as soon as I detonated, I came back off his chin, you saw, the, you saw the action. Next time, when my hand's healthy, I'm about to do that from the early rounds. And what impact did that broken hand have on you? Because even though it caused you to change your game plan, yeah. from our perspective, we're thinking it may have forced you to box a more disciplined uh, fight. Like, in I'll, one way, was it a blessing? I was always going to be disciplined, but I wanted to throw more assaults. But, you know, every time I let my right hand go, even when he blocked it, the pain was, the pain was immense. But, you know, it's, it's a small price to pay, a bit of pain. So, you know, I just kept winning the rounds. He wasn't hitting me. You know, I was slipping everything that he had. And, you know, here we are, I mean, heavyweight champion of the world. We were talking. Champ we making history, that's what it's all about. We were talking before the fight, what effect it would have, what tricks it would play in your mind if you hit him flush and you yeah. got no response. You hit yeah. him with some big shots. I know, I know. And he barely flinched. What was going through your mind at that point? Him. You know, I knew I'll, Adam drilled it into me that you're going to hit this guy and they're going to bounce off him. So in my mind, soon they bounce off him, I had a little smile to myself. I said, it's exactly what Adam said is going to happen. So just keep throwing it. Sooner or later, it's going to break through. And it did, like, like I said with the old tree, you can't knock a tree down with one swipe. You've got to keep chipping away and chipping away. And, you know, when, I, when, it, when it got in there, you know, you saw his legs go. So there's another couple more rounds, he would have been out of there. Dave, tell us about that left hook, that left hook that staggered him. You must have thought, uh, yeah, there. It, felt, it felt beautiful. I could feel the shot bounce off my hand. His head felt like a brick. I've never hit anything that solid before. I've hit heavy bags before, but his head was, honestly, it felt like stone. Your, your movement was perfect. Your power was excellent. Oh, it was a great performance. Thanks a lot, man. I know you're, you're a master boxer yourself. So I know you appreciate a bit of slick boxing skills. So you know that one's this one's for this one's for the Britain who stayed up to listen to listen to this fight. You know here I am, heavyweight champion world, but I love it. And David, what's next for you now? You said you wanted to go back to the table, yeah. have a unification showdown yeah, with the all, yeah, it's all about You're going with parity now. Yes, I, I want to clean up the division. I said it from day one. You know, when I'm on form, you know, when my, when my haymakers are flying, nobody can stand up to it. What would have happened if I'd hit Vladimir with that right hand or Vitaly? They would have been stretched out. This guy's got the best chin in box. Everyone knows it. And, you know, I put a massive dent in him because a couple more rounds, he'd have been out of there. And now time for a nice, quiet party. Oh, quiet party, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm, 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 I'm having it last tonight. I really am. I've, I've disciplined myself so much over the last six months. You know, I was gutted when, when a, a fight earlier in the year uh, fell through, but this makes up for everything. It really does. Absolutely. What a prize at the end of it. Yeah, I know. I said it from it to everyone that had listened. I said I was going to make him look stupid. I said I was going to embarrass him. And, you know, I don't lie. You know, the only thing I didn't do is knock him out. Let's have a word with your trainer, Adam Booth. Congratulations, David. Now, Adam, Adam, yes, just tell us how pleased are you the way David performed tonight, especially given the adversity of that right hand, the damaged right hand he suffered. Well, mate, you know, I mean, I know that, I know that David can, David's prepared to go through anything to win. I knew that. So, when, you know, I saw him tweak his left elbow in the first round, and I saw him hurt his right hand, and I think about the fifth. He's also carrying some injuries into the fight that we didn't want people to know about. But, um... The, the, only, the only way that David was ever going to lose this fight tonight is if he didn't do what David can. I said it was going to be embarrassing. I said it was going to be one-sided because you just can't hit him. And all those people that say don't carry your left hand low because you're going to get hit, you're not going to get hit if you work the defence. It was, he pulled it off masterfully tonight. And remember, it's only his 24th professional fight. If you say he pulled it off masterfully, I know you're a stern taskmaster. What grades do you give your star pupil this evening? But tonight, I can't... Listen, he just won the heavyweight championship of the world. So I've got it, it's a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 because he just won the heavyweight championship of the world. And he started playing with him in there. And we talked about that. We said, in sparring, you play. You mug these people off. And that's exactly the mindset for this fight. Stun him and be gone. And he did it perfectly. I'm so so, so proud of him. You've got a portion of the belt now. You can call some of the shots. What course do you envisage plotting for David Hay? Long term, medium term, short term? Well, uh, short term, get drunk. Medium term, <laughs> sober up. Long term, just consider what he's at. He's the heavyweight champion of the world. Well, Adam, congratulations. You were the chief strategist who put it all together. Thanks. David, you went out and executed. Fantastic job from everybody concerned in Team Haymaker. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for all the sport, Britain. You know, we, out, we, out, we outnumbered the Germans out here. And, you know, the amount of people listening back home, I, I love you all. I truly do. Thank you very much. One final point, David, just on those fans. How much of a boost did right, their presence you know, give you here on the road tonight? Everybody appreciated the silky boxing skills. You know, everyone loved it. The fact I was mugging them off. Making, making him look like an idiot, falling around and stumbling around the ring. You know, it felt amazing to have the, the great British fans with me. Let's say it one more time. You are the new WBO heavyweight champion of the world. And you there you better go. go. You better go or you're going to get hurt for the first time tonight in the crush. Congratulations. Congratulations to David Hay, and we have an absolute throng of well wishes and fans surrounding us in our commentary position here at BBC Radio 5 Live, ringside from the Nuremberg Arena in Germany.
where David Hay has become the new WBA heavyweight champion of the world. The giant remained on his feet, but David has defeated Goliath to become the new WBA heavyweight king.